man. Not really sure as we are seeing Rise kind of set up for the A split here. They've been able to get uh, control over towards Switch position. Already had the entry on the Shazam as well. They're attacking the pyramids and they're getting some deep penetration into the site. But now we're seeing Dapper and Tint actually fighting back very effectively. Down, Looking hey. pretty solid. Even trades coming through. And it does seem like that will be what he's able to go. 1v3 now, but no chance to get that off the ground. So Sentinel takes first effect. Yeah, I mean, it started out pretty promising from the Rise perspective, you know, being able to get some pretty good initial map control, uh, you know, setting up this particular A split, being able to get into the A halls, be able to, you know, get out cave and start making some progress from the site and mopping things up with upgraded remaining. weapons. It's what we've come to expect in situations like these, but Rise will be able to battle against the Sentinel's bonus next round. That's when they can try to make their first statement Flawless. here on Breeze, as it'll be a flawless round from Sentinels. And they're already here to contest that tune. Guiding Light will go through, able to find the Flash, but 10 stays alive. Able to get the Cloud Burst in to gain separation while he's found at the top with the Marshal. But Neptune, able to take one with him. Derek's still part of the play as well, just a little bit deeper. Good help coming through, but Zoms trades things back. 2v1 favoring the Sentinel's defense, but Derek fully healthy. Not going to be able to find Zoms in time, so it's three for the Viper player of Sentinels. And how about three on the board for Sentinels of the squad? Yeah, I mean, it was some good ideas early on in that round from Rise, right? They were able to get Shanks pretty deep up mid pretty early on, get him to miss. But yeah, in a round like this, they don't have the resources to commit to that. And it's kind of getting eaten up right now. It's going to be 4-0 in favor remaining. of Sentinels. It may be another flawless round for Sentinels. Yeah. The second flawless round of the half. On target. Yeah, they able to step out and grab Neptune as well. Spot Superman, he's done more as well. And Shazam getting all the intel he needs as well as bringing members down. Spots to Spike. Does eventually go out, but Dapper and Tins able to trade right back, no problem. And it's going to be 6-0 for Sentinels. And while this is not a flawless round, this is over towards the B zone itself. And of course, all Sentinels are going to rotate left. over. This is going to be another lost round. It, it is one of those that it feels like, okay, Mike Rice, he's starting to put together the right play. But at the same point, like you didn't fully execute with any sort of commitment over towards B. Like the fake was really well done. Here your orb comes through. Flashpoint also a mix. Staffer though, watching the corner oh finds two Down more a. again. It's just the crossfire setup. How do you get standing. rid of this? Apparently you just don't. All five members will fall in another flaw. That's what, five and eight rounds that they've had. Where where do you go? I mean, this is a, a slice of Swiss cheese with no holes in it at the moment. But Rise, able to find one, but that may be about it. Even trades coming through. Even tens with the Sheriff. My goodness. Defending lockdown also in play, and that's going to be trouble here for Ryan. Even though they do remaining. destroy it, but there's nowhere to go. Shanks tries to oh dash boy. away, but Tens was waiting for it. And now it's just down to Derek up top. Tens not going to hit that shot, but that's fine. Sick is there for the assistance, and it's a 9-0 early. Can't quite find the triple, and with that, maybe a chance to actually you get the spike planted. Maybe, but there's Hunter's Fury available, and that is going to stall out that plant right now, and Dapper comes in for a couple off the back of it. Superman is able to respond, but... It's still a tough two versus two with Spike still not planted. And Dapper's on the backside. Trying to open up a little bit for his base. Sentry turret down. Shanks gonna remaining. get revealed and dealt with. Shazam with the front that kill no problem. Supa on the corner can't lock down the shots. Had maybe an opportunity for an impressive 1v2 if he could have snapped to the second, but never finished the first, and it's gonna be 10-0 to Sentinels. That's the closest round Raz has had this entire half, though. The push here through a halls as well by Derek, and he might even be able to get a little bit of a fight on here on Tins. Actually, spots okay, Dapper okay. and Tins and gets them both, and that is what they finally needed to break something open. It's a nice oh, aggressive God. flank maneuver. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Just what did we just watch? So you'll toggle, just maybe see if there's any information. He will catch the spy cam. Enemy. Nice overhead view of where exactly the snake fight's coming out, and there will not be enough time to defuse here. And Super Beyond that will also not even give the consideration a second thought as he does find the kill. So Rise on the board. Yeah, lockdown going in here for Dapper, though, to try to kind of entrench on this site. Shane's still able to get the pick on to 10, so they're starting to make some forward progress here, trying to see if they can get all the way and stop this lockdown, but Dapper going to disallow that, and now they're in some real trouble. Who's going to commit for the plant, though? Nobody will be detained by this Neptune. Gonna be shrugged back, and oh my goodness, the damage is severe. Shazam still a part of this hit. Just not very giving rid of the sight. We'll find one and a second sick also a part of it, and my goodness. I wouldn't even call it a retake. It's just a recontest of what was a post plant. Unbelievable resiliency from Sentinels again. Yeah, it was a consistent theme throughout the half. Just Rise never able to crack open, truly. Now they can just kind of use this wall as sanctuary and kind of force Rise to press forward. Not expecting the immediate response though, but Rise still come away with a three for one. So it is just down to Shazam 1v3 situation, playing a bit more of a passive angle. 
Does he have a look at where the spike is planted is the real question. No, he does not because there is a wall down in front of him. Oh, but Shazam able to find one, able to find two, but not able to get over the top of the wall for the third. The boys sticking for the defuse. At Halls and in the side itself, and they're very aware of this mid doors attack. Janks for one, but the immediate left. response from six. Also attacked after the play was there. So he's going to try to have to lock things down with the Odin, or pardon me, the Ares, and will be able to do so with two. Ten still able to gain some space to work with up towards the front side of Sun. Boys trying to meet him. Ten still finds one, dashes away. And the door will be shut in the play, but not quite fast Spike enough. Boys able to find one in return, and he just falls left. onto the shoulders of Ten. 1v2 situation with the Sheriff and Super will clean things up. Sentinels are all over this site. They've completely isolated, looking for Shanks to peek. Yeah, Sid gets that challenge. No problem. One more and sit for three. That'll lead to a plant, and Derek will have to find a way to navigate a 1v4. Sentinels very quickly on towards the A site. The only defensive member actually on the site is Derek, and he only has a marshal, but quickly on the flank. Shanks is trying to make a play from behind. The Seekers, I believe, will scout that out, no problem. Back to trying to assist from the side door, and Shanks has actually found two kills. Not bad. To keep the play defensively, maybe alive for a touch longer than you'd like if you're Sentinels, but it all falls down to Neptune, and he will very quickly fall. 13 3, the first map, and if you tuned in late. In a long time, we saw Sick on Sky once again. We haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. So to see Sick do well, specifically in mid, just continuing to take control of mid. No, not at all. This is a very nice barrage from Rise early on at B, getting some nice clean opening picks. No real retaliation from Sentinels. And it's going to be a very tough retake. I think he's being solo on hell. Eric also playing through B main, able to find one. Sam's going to turn to see if he can maybe isolate. Tens is still not really a part of the picture as of yet. This is great from Derek. Just keep backing away. Bait Zombs into a very vulnerable position. Tens, what can you find? Ooh, not much. A lot of damage, but cannot confirm the kill. So, hey, how about this? After the flawless spree from Sentinels on Breeze. Another shorty on Tens that he could maybe dash in with and try to cause a little bit of ruckus. But other than that, it's mostly the space for this here. Both be denied, Neptune, Keith, Sterik also with it, and all the kills are so clean. You want flawless rounds, nearly able to secure a second one here. As two more fell from behind as Tens crossed on in, and well, all of the hopes of Ryze just flooding into the site were just immediately quelled by the fact that you have so many kills that you show here. Not the inches, basically four defenders in place by the time the take was underway. Just, you know, again, having that very mid-heavy defense early on allowed them to very quickly pivot into a B-side stack. They've shown yeah. good variability and flexibility, but they need to find a way to put Sentinel on the back foot. And well, Sick is able to get away. The zero-point knife did come through to make sure that there was no immediate follow-up. So him finding first blood. Zom's there to help Dapper as well. Oh, man. It's just any time that Rise starts to chase ground, Sentinels are so quick to rotate, they take it away here almost instantaneously. Yeah, I mean, you were seeing Rise kind of faint that they were going to go for the A or by sending the Sky Flash through and actively in defending spawn. Stars are now coming oh, down no. to one market and back calls, but they don't go about tens in the back. Sam also misses the play. I mean, the shock guard coming through, trying to stay alive as tens, working for space as he did find one of the operators. Quickly rotating over is going to be sick, but even Shazam will fall. So now it is onto the shoulders of sick. He's been revealed. Neptune wants the fight. One Has help from Derek, but Shazam is the angle no. and lines of both up unreal. Super not able to find anything versus Psalms and yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this round and what we saw last round is going to finally force Sentinels to kind of sit back and just back five. Yeah, enemy. you had your way with them on Breeze, and yeah, you had a couple of good opening gun rounds in this map, but now they're getting a little bit careless in some of these rounds, you feel like. like you know, so I feel like, may, I wouldn't say Sentinels have come off the gas pedal yet, but it's just like a couple of rounds to be back a little bit careless. And then Rise, again, we talked about this already. They are still a very capable team. They're very... But now it's up to Sentinels. Have to get on, have to test it. Superman in the corner. Flash will come through. Superman I will able to find one isolated. Also gets the lead that everybody is up top here. And, oh boy. It doesn't look like Sentinels are really going to have a chance at this. Already backing away from the fight is sick. Yeah, this is one of the main confident wins we've seen out of Rise in this series. I'm not trying to short them, but this round really was truly theirs. It wasn't Sentinels making a mistake or anything like that. They they fought hard for that round. They earned every single inch of it. Being able to play out the timing so perfectly that round shift, being able to, you know, force the lockdown. And with Neptune down, Shanks has to pull out the blades. He's the only mystery of power that is actually here for Rise and Zom to the blind one. Not bad. The trade Shazam playing Spike from the corner, able to take a. down the final two. Just down now to Derek 1v3. Not a lot of time to make this play happen and a lot of ground that needs to be traversed.
And yeah, it does seem like such a pretty good idea on where Derek previously was and where he probably was coming back from. So yeah, can hold B by themselves. But Derek's working oh. through mid-map. Ah, uh, the sentry turret has seen this. 12 seconds on the clock. Is there even enough time to allow left. this fight to get into the site? Dapper just needs to find the one kill and the round is going to be over. And there it is, this running forward points Spike have down. to strip B. for it. Dapper with the kill, there's not enough time to play. You've got to win this off the kills themselves. But a one flash comes out, remaining. Dapper finds the second. And ooh. Lockdown, as well as two players being detained along the way. Also, just a big kick off bombs early on, and yeah, they're just locking this one up, it seems. One enemy Very remaining. positive for them, so it can't do too much. Last player left alive is Dapper. The 1v5 finds the first. Not necessarily as clean as you're probably going to need. Shock Dart will well, not finish the job. Superman's going to get there first, and a 6 6 half. Spike looking to get planted. Shanks is quick to try to rotate over, but there is a door in his way. And oh Ooh. my goodness, Derek, a. a little floater comes over the top. Able to find one. Shanks now able to use this door position for a second. That were caught Last underneath, but standing. is that actually okay for him? Able to find at least a jail to get one. Shazam able to find the elimination, but oh, stuck backside arches and rise off of the shock dart. Burst on the site. Zero point will come through. Boy's gonna be tested here, but does have a lot of really kind of conditions in place to keep him alive. But will be sick for a trade. Superman able to try to keep the play alive defensively. Able to find one and a second. Should know that Zom's is nearby and not gonna be required to find the kill as Shanks was there for the assist. Double up and really kind of alleviate any pressure that Sentinels were putting on with their initial take on the site. Shanks will finish things off there with the Aries and so they will go up 8-6. Now they're not going to be on to their bonus round. But... And now the Trailblazers are coming back as they read this play 100% correctly. The spike has been dropped mid -back. Got Shanks walking across. Sentinels have to commit to playing through B-Main. And there's really no ground to work with whatsoever. And Shanks makes sure there is also no exit. Wonderfully done. And a lot of credit to Neptune for the double flash. But how the Raj responds. Neptune maybe misses the opportunity. Derek also could not keep a poise playing from the opposite angle of the find one. Know that there's more established pressure coming through B main. And, oh, maybe even gets caught up. But the tense doesn't actually read the play correctly. So now poise gets involved. But Shazam! He has found three with the Sheriff! This would be an ace and a 1v2. And he's got an left. AR to work with. This is definitely doable. Also has the spike in hand. Wants to try to bail out the oh. sound cue. But Super beats him to the punch on the angle. Over at the boy still anchoring here behind the generator, trying to handle all the utility oh, being lobbed this way, and he does it great. It's a couple of big kills. You can knife me out if you want. Does not make a different poise for three. Created. Got a whole lot to go behind it as they're just trying to walk forward. Shock dart, but Superman still able to get the kill. Now Neptune playing in the middle of gravity well, actually. Not able to find too much, but does create opportunity for his teammates. Poise for two. Still staying hot here on this defensive side is poised. Dapper, last one left alive. 1v4 would be what he's required to find here. Soldier team for Shanks. The secondary team for Derek. No problem. Clean stuff here for Ryan as you would normally expect defensively, but a lot of that was just simply the fact that Yeah, it's one of those things where you're, you're very quickly seeing that playing this KO on 6 still allows Sentinels to play at the same pace you'd expect from a double duelist composition where you're we'll still able to be very fast, very explosive, very decisive. Uh, you know, using those self hot flashes, getting that extra bit of intel with the dagger, and then using that to just kind of push it together with tens and look to take fights and just win them with, you know, that high class aim we're used to seeing out of them. You know, they're a team that, you know, they, they talked about in that video, like people just think that we hold W. It is one of those things where, oh. well, they do. They are a very explosive team, as you see there, but of all this utility and still stand firm on the site. Yeah, this is not bad at all. He's actually got a little bit of help as Shanks will rotate up to the top. Neptune shakes off the detainment and finds an opportunity to take down two. Not done yet. Dapper's still part of the play. He's able to find one in response, but uh, every single bit of this hit from Sentinels has been squandered. And a lot of it is just the fact that Ryze survived through the early utility play from Sentinels. Oh, boy. Oh. You can see Dapper was hoping for a bit of a long con, but... <laughs> Info is key, and info is everything when it comes to tactical FPS. Is right, Bach? He died an extra round. How <laughs> does that happen? Well, obviously, they have a Sage. So he got rezzed and died more rounds than they even played. It looks like he's just going to hold. Spike is going to come down. The trigger is a whatever. Oh, oh, no. Finally oh. Shazam is still going to play, so he's able to take down one. And with that, it will go trade for trade. We're in a 3v3. Yeah, let's see how the rest of this plays out because that was a little bit, um, I don't know, like just anticlimactic. But Sentinels do still go with the win, I guess.
trying to fish out. Maybe they did go all the way around the back. Will we get a read and keeps his point? Very important stuff. And the only play that could have happened from the pinch from Poise is taken out. No problem. So they just holding a corner. Good help here from 10. There will only be one kill to speak of. And Sentinels as expected take the anti-eco. Wow, Sentinels are going to trust that that wasn't a full undefused. The only player to check that is 10. He's blocked by Nebula. So now Dom has to go back forward. 10 to find the trade. Showstopper comes through <gasps> with the knife. And now he's holding Last for the defusal. And Ryan will one sneak enemy it remaining. right under the noses of Sentinels. Shanks just underneath. Hiding inside of Nebula. A lot of utility getting pushed through. And they actually spam down the wall. Find Shanks, no problem. Poised and Derek, the only players that are responsible for holding on. And Derek, unfortunately, cannot find Sit. Poised only good for one. And again, Sentinels will collect and be able to find a way to plant here on B. Spike plant. Indeed. Tougher retake even more this time for Rise, as they only had two members for this one, but Superman able to find the opening frag pretty quickly there. Shazam, though, quick to respond. Neptune gets right back into it, and with Dapper being low on HP, maybe there's a chance. Just comes down to the timing of the beacon. Unfortunately, does not get the gun up in time. Dapper ready for the wide angle. Sentinel's Dapper gonna use the orb to block U-Haul Vision to get into sight itself. Tin's also clearing out some corners there. And Dapper's aware of this possibility. You can see him throwing them the snake fight, shock dart follow up as well. And boom, that's Neptune down. And they're doing a great job yeah, of clean. not dropping the ball in anti-eco situations. Like they're Tens able to find one more. It's all on to the last two rise defensive players. Shanks in the corner. He's got an operator and a pistol to use. He does remaining. find one. That will clear the viper bit. Derek 1v2, not gonna be able to find the first. Superman, though, gets spammed through the toxic screen. Oh, what a key loss that is. Left. Boys now has to essentially vacate heaven to get onto the site itself. Trying to contest from any sort of point, but Ken seems to know that he's here. And yeah, sure does. Finds the kill. Not to respond to the last defender over through U-Haul and then Derek, who tried to wander on in. Denied. Only play available would be Neptune from the flank as he was previously in Hookah, but... Inside. Opportunity here. Maybe pull off a thrifty if they can get away. Dapper was quick to follow up and does find elimination, but Superman, meanwhile, mid map, keeps the numbers in favor of the side of Rise. Trying to hold the ground is poised. He will fall, and all of a sudden, the advantage of the AR picked up has been denied. Derek, who is tagged down heavily, will also fall. And it's on to Super and Shanks to try to contest. They want to go quickly. Flash will come through. Dapper playing through long, though. Yeah, ultimate versus health uh, comparison. <laughs> Not exactly full value, but the elimination in the space, more importantly, was big. But Neptune can respond of one of his own. Able to take right down here. Dapper. Shazam playing from a clutch spot deep through middle. Tens here to guard him with an Empress. Space been gained. Neptune gonna stick on it. Hunter coming up. Tens wants to beat through it, and he finds himself too. One more available. Able to still dismiss on the backside of the Hunter's Fury and the finesse from Tens. Exquisite. One yes, flash will come through. That's just to get the Shanks away from the play initially. Tries to retake, but it's only good for one elimination. One enemy Looking remaining. good for 10 unless Poise can double up. Not going to be the case. And it's just down to Derek with a Marshall for a 1v3. Yeah, some might Spike say that Vaughn's looking like a breeze for Sentinels. Hey, hey. I'll even sitting on that ways. one. Now, I, I actually <laughs> oh. just came up with that. No, no lie. I'm really proud of Shut you. Down. That's my problem for a few years. So <laughs> the hope that I could every now and then come up with a nugget. Speaking of, Sentinels aggressively through Hookah, and oh my lord. It's just, the, the spam that we've seen, a couple of different rounds here through the edge of Hookah, hasn't even give Ryze a chance to fight back. Seeker's from behind, sure, but Shanks is so far away from this play. Derek is trying to delay with the Hunter's Fury. He does find one to his credit. But actually, Shanks doesn't go. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. I thought by the Seekers coming from behind, they would have known that the play was going to be here sooner rather than later, but not the case. The spike doesn't get planted. Trailblazer will see Shazam and Rise could sell for the second round here. Pending. Zoms doesn't do something unbelievable. And well, this is going to be a very difficult 1v2 as he will have to regress back into the site. Yeah, if his teammate could have stayed alive a little bit longer, maybe he finds a way to get this 1v1 against Derek and get in. But now he's stuck in a very difficult 1v2. He does have time. That's about all he's got going for him right now. Trying to find a way in here. Guess it won't be one, but Derek able to win the duel. And so Rise fits another one in there right at the end. So the spike will be retrieved. That's Derek who has it in hand. Sentinels are committing to rotate over, but this is a 3v4. Left. But they don't even right. really hold the weapon advantage. So this retake is going to have to be sooner rather than later. Oh, oh I don't like this. I don't like Last this. player standing. I love that from Zoms, knowing that Sick is in an exposed position down below. He had just jumped. He was probably going to get killed, and Zoms is right there running in to make sure he doesn't get trade off of it. Ten seconds left. Again, that is a decisiveness that makes Sentinel so great. Man. 
Regrowth will actually get this team back to essentially full HP, though. So that's good news. And Superman will wide peek on the tents, no problem. Boy's looking for the same on the Zom. No, surely not. Surely not. Weapon's Last been picked up by Shazam, standing. though. He's got an angle on this. He's able to find one. Oh, don't give him the second. Just don't give him the second. Okay. Oh. <laughs> they almost did. They no room for Rise to work with anywhere on the map. Unless maybe Derek can isolate Shazam here, but I think Shazam did catch the shoulder and is not interested in being mm -hmm. gate capped. So he will back away. And it really all falls on what happens in this playthrough B long. Yeah, I mean, they have to just send it at this point, but they're already down two players. It's a great setup here for Shazam and Tent. Only an octagon position, not really a way forward for them. Great little trade there, thanks to Shazam. And Zombs. One left. Yeah, team 1v3, trying to force it, not going Defenders to happen. Win. So. A handful of one-sided affairs here and there leads to Sentinels taking the series two to one. And it's just off the back end of just two convincing maps. I mean, we